Alright guys, it's time for another Marvelous Designer video and today we're going to be making a comforter, okay? Uh, it seems complicated, but I can assure you it's really, really easy, okay? Let's check it out. Here we go. Alright guys, well we're in Marvelous Designer 7 and uh, we're going to do a request that I get quite often and that is how to model a comforter. Um, the same technique can be used to uh, make one of those uh, puffy jackets, but we're going to start with the comforter, alright? So this is pretty straightforward. We're going to start with a, a rectangle and we're just going to drag that out. And let's say that's the base shape. And then of course we need uh, a piece on the back as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that over, right? So we're just going to select that and we're going to hit Control C to uh, copy and Control V to paste. And I'm just going to put this up here. And what you need to keep in mind though is you got a top and a bottom. So this guy we need to flip around. So we're going to go to the left to our 3D view. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to flip horizontally. So now we've got the right side on the back there. In my 3D view I can actually put it behind this guy. It will stay at an angle in our 2D view so that's fine. Just so these guys are roughly where they need to be. That's not too bad. All right. Okay, so what's next? We're going to go in here and we're going to go and take that second symbol and I'm going to select this uh, vertical line right here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to offset as internal line. Now when I do that, I get this menu and it's going to ask me how much uh, offsets I want. So I'm going to go up to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then I'm going to increase that distance. So let's see, try to level that out a bit. You can see that we now need to either uh, decrease the number of offsets. And uh, let's see, we'll set this to 9.8 maybe. That's pretty good. Okay, 9.8. So then we're going to go over here, we're going to do the same thing. So that's going to be 9.8 and 9, there you go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch those sides together. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to start with this guy. And this is the tricky part because you want to make sure that you're not crossing over or doing it upside down. So let's see if this turns out okay. You can see this is going flipped. So I'm going to hit Control Z to go back. So I'm going to go from here to here. And you can see in our 3D view that that looks okay. From here to there. If you look at our 3D view, you can see everything's okay, right? So now we're going to go back in, we're going to go into edit, we're going to take that top line right there and we're going to right click and offset as internal line as before. Uh, we're going to try the same distance here, but we're going to probably need more offsets. So uh, let's see, we're going to go in and set that to 11. That's okay. And then we're going to go in here, select this guy, offset as internal line, still at 11. That's okay. And now we're going to need to stitch those guys together. Now we're probably going to have the same situation there. So I'm going to try this one to this one. And that should work, but we'll see. We'll look at our 3D view here. And you can see that, let's just check that, that that is not correct. It's going up. So we're going to hit Control Z or Z to go back. And we're going to go from here to here. And that's better, but it's crossed. That's okay. So what's left from here to there. All right, so all of that is done. Just make sure and check that nothing is crossed. Everything looks fine. So I'm just gonna take this guy and this guy right here and I'm going to click on it again and I'm just going to flip this because I want it to be close to the floor so it's not going to act all funky and everything push it close to the floor and then in my pressure tab here let's set that pressure to four okay and then we're going to go in here and we're going to simulate let's see what we get okay not bad, uh, but four is not very high, looks like. So let's just uh, jump back and let's set that a bit higher. Let's set that to, let's say 12 and try that again. 
starting to look a lot better already not quite there just yet so let's go back and let's try 24 let's give it another go that's starting to look much better now this is pretty flat and everything but now you can actually grab this corner here and just flip it over like this so you get more of a situation like you would see on the bed well anyway guys that's uh, pretty much how that works so I uh, brought this model into Keyshot did a quick texture and render and this is the end result okay so uh, hopefully um, you got something from this video uh, have fun with this uh, technique and uh, let me know if you got any questions all right well thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that MH button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye